this thing on. So Danielle has run into an issue. The moment of truth is now. Kind of getting a little teary-eyed over here. So some nights are, I'm just going to bed. I'm not touching any of these dishes. I'm not cleaning up these counters. I'm not wiping anything down. I'm exhausted and I'm just going to sleep. And that was last night. However, it's super easy to wake up the next day and just say, oh, there's too much to do today. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess with it. I just want to like take a moment to drink some coffee and then get started with the day. However, I'm committed to not doing that. I'm doing my best to make sure we keep this house in decent shape. It's not gonna always be clean. It's not gonna always look clean, but as long as it is in a state of we can clean it within 10 minutes, say we have a guest coming over randomly that is gonna be here in just a few minutes, I wanna be able to get it tidy. And we've done a really good job of keeping it like that. So I'm not gonna drop that now. So it is eight o'clock. I have plenty of time to get this straightened up. So give me 10 to 15 minutes, knock it out. Kids have already eaten breakfast, smoothies, keeping it simple today. So our uh, dishwasher is like not very good at actually getting anything clean. So you basically have to wash them all beforehand anyways. Looking good. I left out the olive oil bottle and it did that. Hopefully it'll go away. What is that? Where was that? Is that honey? Oh, you put it in the dishwasher. Just like that, we're all done. And it looks nice in here. And the kids have been helping clean up in the living room, so that looks pretty good. So we really try at night to do all this and get it done. Again, it was just one of those nights, days where I was done. I was ready to just be like, I'm out. And uh, so that's what we did, but we always try the next morning to really pick it back up, get it cleaned up, so we can have just a little bit less of a stress-free day a little bit more of a stress-free day. Yeah, a little bit more of a stress-free day. That's the one. And I need a haircut again. I didn't realize it's been like two months since Danielle cut my hair. Did y'all know that? I was like, Danielle, this haircut didn't last. It's been two months. It goes so fast time these days. So the real question is, do I go into like the small town that's next to us, get a haircut from there and hope it turns out okay? Do I let Danielle cut it again? Or do I grow it back out? What do you think? Time for lunch. Uh, All right, y'all for me. Uh, can you come for a cracker sandwich? <laughs> you know, sometimes you just need to make a simple, easy lunch, yeah, and that's what we did, but they love it. Some cucumbers, yeah. celery, carrots, apples, with peanut butter. They can yeah, dip it all in their little, to their heart's desires. No. Some crackers and some dried mangoes, and you call it a day. Bada boom. What's this part? This is the door. Door panel, but I do need some really small screws, which I'm sure we have enough things. Touch this. It's gonna go here. That. And 
this might be where we stop for the day. So Danielle has run into an issue because she changed the shape. I'll say we, because I gave her the idea. <laughs> it was a good idea, guys, a really good idea. But because the shape went from narrower to wider, the boards are not gonna work. The amount of wood we purchased isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> that was a good one. I'm just full of them today. I'm really full of them. So it's another pause on this project until tomorrow when we can get the rest of the wood and hopefully put this baby to rest. And it's getting really cold outside, so it's just not making for an enjoyable experience. The sun rises this way and then comes over our house, so around four to five o'clock, maybe even earlier, it's just shade back here. And it is chilly, chilly, chilly. So we're putting a pause on this for now, and hopefully we'll finish it before we go to go. So I'm about to make spaghetti, and spaghetti, it's so basic. How can you spice up spaghetti? And I just realized our kids, the ones that eat meat, have never had spaghetti with meat sauce. And I happened to just come from the store and buy ground beef, grass-fed and organic, mind you. So I'm gonna make that tonight and see what they think about it. Why have I never done that before? I've literally never done it before. And I always break my spaghetti in half, but I usually pull it out of this you know, bag and then break it like over here and it ends up a little bit kind of splatters all over the place. Not splatters, but you know, breaks up across the stove. But what I just did was brilliant. <laughs> I open up the bag, inside the bag, breaking them in half and then just letting it go. Oh my gosh. Brilliant. Adeline here thinks she's not gonna like the spaghetti. It's not any different than what it normally tastes like. I disagree. You wanna pick you wanna place a bet on it? A what? A bet. What's like that? It means if I win and you like the spaghetti, then you have to clean something really good for me. But if I win, I get candy? If you win... I get candy. No, not candy, because then you'll just say you don't like it just so you can get candy. No. Hmm. And I, if and I if win... If you win, I will... Have to make something I like. Make something you like. Promise? All right. Deal. Deal, it's cool. on. You ready for your meat sauce? Yeah. This is Me the too. Right I'm here. ready for my meat sauce. How hungry are you? Really hungry or just a little hungry? You know, sort of. Okay, uh, uh, we'll start with that. Oh uh, yeah, this hungry. is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. All right, hold on. Let's get a fork and we take it to the table. I love that. Don't spill it. Here, you hold that. I'll carry the fork and then we'll take the camera over there. The moment of truth is now. Oh. <laughs> you gotta make sure you get the, oh, you gotta get the meat in there. Why? Cause that's what the, that's the meat sauce. That's what it is. All right, you ready? Ow, the meat sauce. Ah, <laughs> come on. I was <laughs> been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Do you believe? I love it. I ate the meat before I ate the noodles. Okay, well, what do you think it? about it? I didn't really taste it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and Daddy, oh, yeah, just stick it on there. Yeah, they really Daddy. got the of a fat. I like it, but the noodles taste like nothing. I can only taste the meat. Yeah, the noodles need a little more salt. No. But that's what you, that's what you're trying. That's why you add the meat. Now I have Because the meat helps it now have I have a flavor. Now have to clean up the bedroom. Nah, you know what? Just because you liked it, I'll let you get off the hook. <laughs> you want meat sauce? 
No. You want meat sauce? You do? All right, we have another contender. <laughs> have you eaten it? Here she goes. Is it good? What do you think? You like it? Uh -huh. Yeah, high five, dude. Well, today was the day. It felt like we got nothing done, but it felt like we got a lot of things done at the same time. I do feel like I could have spent a little more time with the kids today, though. That's one thing that at the end of the day always hits me. I'm like, what did you do intentionally with the kids today? And a lot of times I'm just like drawing blanks. I took Marin with me to go shopping. But other than that, I wanted to take them for a walk and I didn't do it. They're just growing up so fast. I hate thinking about even any moment I could have taken and not um, kind of get a little teary eyed over here. Uh, I think it just means tomorrow I need to wake up and um, be a little more intentional with our older girls because they give a lot more time to the little kids and then because they're always like begging for it. The older kids will go and play contently by themselves but I know they still want that attention. And so I think I have to seek it out a little bit more, especially with Tyler. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Hold me to it, guys. Don't let me forget. I'm gonna send an alarm on my phone too. Anyways, love you guys. Hope y'all are doing well. Go love your kids. Go spend some time with them. Maybe if you're watching this at nighttime, go while you're tucking them in, read a book, say a prayer with them, ask them how their day was and listen. And uh, if you're in the morning, ask your kid one thing that they hope that they get done that day or something that they want to do or something they're looking forward to and start that conversation. Anyways, love you guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.